I'll let you guys know ahead of time. You know, I, probably, I don't have many uh, injury updates yet. We're, we're going to do some things full speed tomorrow and see where some of those guys are. So I'll, I probably won't know a lot of game time uh, decisions. Do you have a plan figured out yet at left tackle yet, or is that still to be determined? Yeah, I mean, we're going to put Gunner out there, and we have other guys that rep there. And, um, yeah, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll see how the game goes. Sounded like you were pretty pleased with Gunner last week and the snaps he gave you. Yeah, yeah. I think, um, you know, there's there's probably one that he wants back on a sp uh, sprint out away. Even the, 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 the TE that hit us for the sack that really, really is more in the guard turning, I thought, I thought he gave us good reps, and he'll be better this week. What is it? <clears throat> the challenge of uh, the travel roster is it is it is it uh, difficult to get it even down to seventy four? How's that? Nah, I think seventy four is a fair number. Yeah, you, you you can you know you're you just sometimes aren't taking some guys that you'd love to take just because they're working hard maybe on the scout team and all that stuff really. So really you know it's really more about the rest of the staff and all. It's really more about the, all the other people you know just. Uh, um, you know, the most that's most of the travel party, but the players are, at this point, 74 is pretty easy. You know, we've, unlike a lot of teams have had a buy already, we've played four games, so we're maybe a little more beat up. So we have some guys, you know, that are, um, uh, you know, aren't coming. You said earlier in the week the team was still in that phase of learning how to win. What does the team still need to learn how to, to win games in the Big Ten? Um, yeah, I think it's just an ongoing process. I think for me right now, this is just about this week, you know, just focused on us just being um, really dialed in uh, to, to all the different things that Purdue does, you know, because they've, they've really had two different offenses this year. So that adds a, that adds a little bit of versatility to, you know, our preparation. But uh, what we know is we know Maccabee is as good a player as there is in the Big Ten. We, we know that uh, Card's excellent. They really have a great O-line. I love. Uh, I, I don't know who the line coach is, but I love the way that they play. And then, you know, defensively, they they have uh, a really difficult scheme. Excellent players, You're getting a few players back who've been hurt. So, and then special teams, you know, um, they do a nice job. So it's going to be a you know a tr tremendous battle, and uh, we'll just have to try to make one more play than they make. You mentioned number four earlier in the week. What jumps out about uh, Kyron Jenkins? Just the way he plays. Yeah, he plays relentlessly. He's physical. He's leading the Big Ten in sacks per game. Um, you know, when he's out there, they really have they really have six threats to rush the passer. You know, I mean, he he can add on and man, he can, you know they do a lot of really cool things with the combo and guys. He can he can add on. Um, you know, you try try to split him out. You say, okay, well, he's a pass rusher. Notre Dame split him out. Try to run big box fade on him. Ran with it down the field. So um, he's as good a player as there is in the Big Ten in my mind. John Bullock has had a, a pretty nice start to the season. You know, forced that fumble last week. Just what do you think of the level he's playing at so far? Uh, John John's playing well, especially affecting the ball. Uh, you know, he's gotten a bunch of uh, pass breakups. He had a bunch in the Colorado game. I think he had one in the UNI game. Uh, took the ball away last game. So um, I think he's he's been a real, uh, real, really good player for us so far this year, and uh, we'll need him this week. What have you, have you seen from John Hole this week? Uh, John's had a good week of practice. I think he's bounced back really well, and. Um, you know, he's a developing player, right? Everything's not going to be perfect, you know, but uh, he's got all the talent and he's got a big, big, big leg. And so, you know, you know, it, his accuracy, his accuracy from outside of 50 was one of the highlights of camp. I mean, he was, he, he can kick it from 55, 57 and made a lot of them. So just getting consistent, getting consistent with the, you know, the young snapper. Bushini's done a really good job holding. Um, but uh, John's better this week than he was last week. I'm re really proud of his bounce back and of the way he's approached it. Would you like to play a few more guys on defense against their their running attack this week? Maybe? Yeah, I think so. I think uh, we play a lot of guys on the defensive front and the defensive line. We've played a lot of guys at linebacker, but uh, maybe a few more guys in the secondary. You know, it, it, a lot remains to be seen what the weather conditions are going to be. We're expecting it to be wet and really windy, but you know, one you know you know how t hurricanes are; they can shift past. So, well, you know, we'll wait to see there. But I think we. Um, you know, we, we felt good about where Sierra was, and so if the rep counts could be a little bit further down, that'd be great. With Tommy Hill, is it just kind of how he's feeling? Is it a, a tolerance thing, or is it? Yeah, it's a pain threshold thing. It's a really, really painful injury. Um, I just saw the other day there was a guy in the NFL who was out for like four weeks with it, and most guys would be out for four weeks. Tommy's just battling through, so um, he's one that, you know, kind of, kind of get to the game. If he can go, great. If he can't, then, you know, then – then uh, you know, Sierra proved that he's a he's he's a starting level corner in the Big Ten, and uh, we knew that going in. So we're, we're blessed to have that 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 uh, depth. Glad I was on out last week. Is he a redshirt guy at this point? No, no, we're trying to get him ready to play. Is there um is there any benefit for going on the road? You've had a lot of these like you know marquee matchups here at home, a lot of big support and attention. There is is it easier to kind of key in on improvement when it's just you guys versus the world on the road a bit? 
Well, well I, I think th- we've. I think the improvement happens during the week. You know, I think our guys have had a great, great, um, great week of practice, a great week of preparation, a great week of you know honest you know evaluation. Staff, coaches, everyone. I think you learn you learn more about yourself when you go through some adversity than when you than when you have success, right? You know, you just it's an opportunity to you know. The great ones, they don't just bounce back. They bounce back and elevate. And uh, we're looking to see ourselves bounce back and elevate. And, I, I, you know, again, you're not going to – you're never going to be a relevant team in the Big Ten if you can't win on the road. And, um, uh, you know, you go into hostile environments. Um, you know, you, you, you travel. You, I said, you know, we stay, you stay in a small hotel. Guys are doubled up. You know, it's just, it's just different, right? And so, um, you know, it's a part of the process of – Again, I you know I think maybe we said last week learning to win. Maybe I should change what I'm saying. Maybe like you know learning how to be a, you know, learning to play championship caliber for football. Learning how to win at that level, and um, I think part of that's going on the road and and playing at the level you need to to play to beat someone. So I'm pleased with the week. We'll see how we'll see how we do the next two days leading up to the game and then the game. Um, last year, I think your tradition was going and seeing a movie the night before. Is that what you guys are going to do again? Yeah, we do that at home. We do that. You know we. Uh, we, we meet in the morning, then we meet in the evening, and then we usually get away and go see a movie, so we'll do that as well. Hey, the news around college football this week has been players opting out for the season to preserve their red shirt. I guess, have you had any discussions like that? And I guess, what's your approach to this new dynamic of roster management going forward? Yeah, that, 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 that playing four games in red shirt, it's been, there, it's been around for a while now, you know, so, um, you know, we, we, were, we were dealing with that. Way back when, uh, I, I try to have honest conversations with all our players that want to have them about, you know, their careers um, and try to talk to their parents um, and understand that, you know, I have really two jobs. My job is to put the best team out there as possible. My job is also to make sure that I'm putting each player's career first and um, um, trying to establish a culture of trust where, you know, people people believe in what we're doing. So there's guys, you know, on the team that know they're registered and they've played one game, two games, no games. Um, and uh, we have other guys who, you know, hey, coach, thanks, but I really want to play. So um, I think each player is a little different. All right, thanks, guys. Thank you.